Now, where are you guys from? Shit, we from Florida, you know what I'm saying? Florida. Pretty much. Yeah, Florida. All around. Florida shit. Give me some cities you guys might be around from. Shit. shit you I, was, I was born in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Yeah, I shit. touched down in Miami, you know what I'm saying? All the other crew, the rest of the crew, they all around, you know what I'm saying? You find us everywhere. Currently, where do you guys reside? Right now, shit, I don't even got a spot. I'd be all around Florida, so I can't even give you a yeah. spot. You know, you, can, you can't I'm really find us in one of, spot. I'm on that same so. type of time, bro. It's like... Is that a homeless description? Oh, no, nah, we ain't homeless. We just be on the move. Mm. We can't, we don't stay in one spot. Okay. Yeah. So, not a, it, this not a couch to couch situation. Oh, no, 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 no. We be straight. <laughs> ain't okay. that type of party. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, growing up in Florida, can you paint the picture for us? What was that like for you guys? Shit. Well, struggle, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's either you grew up rich, you grew up poor, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we, we took L's. I know I took L's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all took L's. We all took L's, so that's why. Should be trash as fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how we relate. It was so good, because we all struggle, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we all remember where we came from, so. That's, that's why we stick together, because we just know. What was the biggest L you took growing up? The biggest L, you know what I'm saying? When you just, when you just seeing, seeing niggas eating good, and you just starving, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, that's, that's it. You just starving, you know what's up right there. You know you got to go ahead and get, you know what I'm saying, find your way to get some food, you know what I'm saying? You got to get up, you got to find a way to get money. And when you, when you got people at the spot, when they struggling too, you know what I'm saying, you got to feed your family, so... That's all it is. What's the longest you went without food? You said, what's the longest? I I'm starved. Man, I starved. <laughs> we starved. Like, you Literally. open the fridge, you open the fridge, even even rats holding their damn stomachs. Like, nigga, buy, <laughs> put some shit inside here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, they're a fool, bro. Yeah, but yeah bro. <laughs> that, should be, that should be hard, though. As a kid, did you guys get into trouble? We Haitian. To answer the fucking question, we used to get our ass taxed, you know what I'm saying? Taxed we with get any beat motherfucking up. thing. Sit you on, sit you on. My mom <laughs> hitting us with the sit you on all the time. Uh. Seth, Kyle, Lewis, all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they giving us them big ass whoopings. <laughs> what was the Damn most serious thing you got into? The serious thing? Shit. Damn. I mean, it was one time I came back home late, super late, and my mom had threw a knife at my back, so that Ooh. shit was crazy. <laughs> So I know I chilled out and coming home late. So she stabbed you? No, nah, she threw it at my back. Okay. She and it, but she took me to the hospital right after though. So you know that shit crazy. So, so. she threw it after at your back like she was trying to stab you? No, nah, she wasn't trying to. She was just you know females they don't they can't control themselves when they you know what I'm saying with the weapons when they angry. So that bit flicked out her hand, hit me in the back, and I was just like you know what I'm saying screaming. She was crying. You know what I'm saying that's another story though. I still love you, Mom. Yeah. You say it with a smile on your face, but that could, you know what end, that could end really, really bad. That made you know what I'm saying. That made that made me the person I am today. So you know what I'm saying. I I feel like I, I can't be touched now. You know what I'm saying. Strict parents growing up. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. My yeah. people were strict on that bullshit. You feel me? My people was all about me staying in school type shit on that. And you feel me? Oh, that shit wasn't really gonna do too much for a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? We got dreams and shit to chase. Might as well just go get that shit. Oh, While we on, on that, that shit. Yeah. Speaking of school, what type of student were you in school? <laughs> Nigga, I was... I call myself a damn before Christ student. Straight BCs. <laughs> I'll, I'll get like two Bs <laughs> every Christ. now and then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I was, I, I, we was average students, you know what I'm saying? But we always could have did better. So, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like we dumb. We could have always did better. So that shit ain't hard. Shit, we just ain't feel like going to class. Yeah, that shit just be pointless, and all right. Be out talking <laughs> to the whole and shit. But y'all stay in school, man. If y'all in school, watch it and stay in yeah, school. Yeah, don't man. get me wrong. If, if y'all in school and shit. Grind. It's all about grinding. Your Follow your, you know what I'm saying? Chase your dreams. Grind. We know what we are. Did you rap in school? Oh. I've, I've been rapping since fucking elementary school. You know what I'm saying? My first rap was when I was seven. Literally, man. I could still rap that shit right now, but that's another, another <laughs> time. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't really rapping. Making beats? Yeah, I was just making beats seven, ever since seventh grade and shit. Just yeah. chopping that shit up. I wasn't really taking that shit too serious, too. Like, shit. Doing, we just doing what we love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, wasn't, we was just doing what we love. Literally. 
We didn't know, we didn't know how much this shit was for the pop when we took it serious. Yeah, basically. Did you, uh, speaking of rap, did you battle rap other classmates? To be, no, I ain't never battle rap. <laughs> it's like every time we started rapping and shit on the bus, in the hallways, you know what I'm saying? Niggas would just gather around and just vibe to that shit. Because, you know what I'm saying, especially same old Polly, you know what I'm saying? We just rapping, all us rapping in the hallways. We had our old same old hall rapping. Every time we rap, niggas just came and listened to that shit. You know what I'm saying? But every, we always caught people's attention. So we, I, I just always knew, you know what I'm saying, we should take it serious. But we just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Graduated high school? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit easy. Easy yeah, money. That shit. That shit easy as fuck. Too easy. After high school, did you further your education? Yeah, like I said, shit. Went to college and shit. You did go. <laughs> yeah, I went to college, you know, a little junior college. Yeah, you know, that's good. Community. That shit was dead, though. <laughs> I went to college. It was over. I'm over here not even in class. I'm talking to all the hoes walking around. Yeah, basically the hoes. That was just keeping it up. I was up. even doing <laughs> I was doing no music at that time, you know what I'm saying? Just talking to the hoes and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know, I might as well just stop and let somebody who need to go, go, because I ain't on this type of time, so. Literally, that's basically find. the main point of the whole situation, that yeah. shit. Did you get scholarships or grants for college that you went to, or was it like you had to pay it out of your pocket type of thing? Out of our pocket, you know what I'm saying? We were still going, we ain't want to be there, you know what I'm saying? But shit, we was there, though. And how much college did you get accomplished? Shit. To be real, slim to none, but shit, I'm just being real fuck. I was an in and out man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in and out guy. What was the reason for dropping out of college? I ain't, I ain't drop out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I could still get some classes back in there. I ain't ever drop out, but it's just, I got tired of that shit. But if you leave, you dropped out. Yeah. You may go back, but you dropped out at this point. I mean, shit. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I guess I dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit, you know what I'm saying? So what was the reasoning? Was it a financial issue? Oh, no, no, no. There was no financial issues. It was just nothing like that. It was just, it was just like what, like, school can't really do, get done what we want to get accomplished, to be real, to be real, you feel me? That shit's slowing us down. It's, yeah, it's just a big slowdown, you feel me? Because, you know, if we doing music and shit, we got to deal with school, probably got a job and shit at the same time, but really... That shit don't mean, like... Yeah, we come in different, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't gonna help us be different. That's just gonna teach us how to be like other people, you know what I'm saying? Even if we go for music, it's teaching us how to be like them, you know what I'm saying? What they what they did. We trying to do everything original, come with our own sound, so we don't need to know what y'all did. We got, you know what I'm saying? We coming hard, so... <laughs> yeah, he basically pointed that shit out right there. <laughs> you had strict parents. What was their reactions to you guys dropping out of college? Oh, damn. Haitian, once again, Haitian. Yeah, so, yeah Haitian. Haitian. Only the, all the Haitians would probably understand that shit. Mm -hmm. With Haitian parents, I mean, just, once once I drop, once they find out, uh, like just, just stop going to school and shit, yeah. they just flipped in a way. They just if you ain't going they to just, school. If you ain't going to school, it's like you ain't nothing. Like <laughs> like they don't care about anything else but school. Like yeah. if you ain't doing that shit, it's over. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. Was the music career taken seriously right after you got out, or were you doing other stuff in between that time before music was taken seriously? I mean, to be real, we just said we was doing music, you know what I'm saying? And then our older brother, RJ Chef, he had shot our first music video, and people started, you know what I'm saying? They was buzzing off that shit, you know what I'm saying? They was fucking with it, so we just went and gave him another one and took it more serious, you know what I'm saying? And we are like, oh shit, these niggas fucking with our shit, you know what I'm saying? So we just kept it going. And then it kept oh, yeah. it going, kept it going, and they just, you know what I'm saying, shit just kept getting bigger and bigger, so. Now, thinking back um, and reflecting on your college experience of what you did do, do you wish you would have never went to college at all and bypassed it and went straight into the music? Or is it one of those it is what it is situations, glad you had the experience, that sort of thing? It's or do you wish you, you would have went back and finished it and completed it? It's more of a, one of those it is it is it is what it is situations. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but it's one of them situations. But it's not in the good side of it. It's like yeah. I just did the shit and I did it. Fuck it. Yeah, that's it's big. like it's over with. Now I'm moving on to bigger and better things. You know what I'm saying? It was just to pretty much see how trash that it was. It basically, basically. You know what I'm saying? We like, damn, this shit sucked. 
Man, just well, to give it a test run to see how like garbage that shit. Yeah, so we do, we gave it a try. We ain't finna just say fuck college and not go. You know what I'm saying? We want to see how trash it was, and we like, all right, now we can chase our dreams. Fuck that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get real. Now, when you say how trash it was, somebody that may not even have experienced college yet, and they're about to, and they're hearing these types of descriptions. I mean, how should one? I mean, to be take that. to be real. I, I, I like that question because it's like what I'm doing could be trash to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, that's what I mean. Like what I'm doing could be trash to them. So it's like I could call what they doing trash because we on some we on two different types of time. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it is. Like we both in our own different lanes. So yeah. now somebody watching this, let's say they have a passion for music. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, a, a rapper or a producer position, but let's say they want to be an engineer or a music video director or a DJ or whatever the case may be. Let's say they just get out of high school. They have this passion for music and they want to, they have to make the next choice in their life. Do you tell a person like that, go straight into music, music industry, music business, that sort of thing, uh, follow their career choice? Or do you tell a person if they can continue their education, do that and music at the same time. Now, every circumstance is different. This is general advice. What do you say to somebody like that? Thinking about the next step in their life after high school. I mean, after high school, you gotta be willing to chase your dreams. Like, ain't no telling somebody wh how to do something, what, what I'm saying, how they, what, the, what way to do something. It's just, you tell them to chase their dreams and support support them whatever they wanna do, I'm saying, whatever choices they make. And if they're doing bad, then you tell them they're doing bad and you give them advice, but you don't tell nobody how to do something. So, but always encourage somebody to chase their dreams. So people be afraid. So you got to encourage them. You only live once. So die chasing that shit. So, yeah, sum that shit all up. Jobs you had growing up, if any? You said what jobs we had growing yeah. up? Did you guys have any jobs growing up? Mm -mm, I wasn't allowed to work. <laughs> you weren't allowed to work? No, nah, my mom ain't let me. She made me have to graduate school before I, I even touched it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have no job like that at all growing up because I was too busy, like, hooping and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually on that shit. Must be nice. I know a so lot of kids have to have a job or two jobs or may have to pitch in on their family's bills and that sort of thing. Sounds like you had it pretty easy. Yes, Shit. no, maybe so. Shit, we starved, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we still. We like, starved. <laughs> you starved, but not uh, uh, not to the point where you had to get a job, though. My, my mom actually hid all that stuff to even allow us to get a job. We ain't, I didn't didn't know where none of that shit was. <laughs> even if I wanted a job, I didn't know my social. I, didn't, I just ain't no shit. It oh. was kept away. Wow. <laughs> um, is that n uh, normal uh, in the Haitian culture? No, my mom crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all Haitian moms is crazy, but my mom is crazy. She, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's just all that is. Mm. I've never heard of that before, but, you know, I don't know everything. Maybe there's different cultures that have different rules that I'm not familiar with. I was just curious. I, oh, all the Haitians could relate when I say crazy, you know what I'm saying? So... Even if you ain't Haitian, you always hear somebody like, oh, you Haitian? Oh, I can't talk to you. You crazy. I'm like, damn, why are you saying that? So you've gotten that before. Yeah, I get that. I get that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? A girl, a Haitian girl would tell me she can't talk to me because I'm Haitian. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? We the same it'd, shit. It'd you know what be what crazy on crazy. that shit. Crazy. <laughs> so that shit wild. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, I guess Haitians, we got the juice. So they just, they call us crazy. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So even after college, you drop out and you're, uh, you know, going with the music career choice and the music career path, still no need for a job? Mm. Nah, not so much. Mm. Yeah, not so much. It's just grind, 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 you know what I'm saying? Chase. We just get it how we live type shit. You feel me? We just get it how we live. We starve and we just grind. Right. That's how it is. Fuck it. Yeah, Somebody might be watching this and saying, how do you do it? How do you survive without having to have a job? Oh, no, we, we come up now. We get we get money, you know what I'm saying? We can't say all that how we get it over here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we Haitian, saying. we get money, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get our money at the end of the day. We're going to do what we got to do. Haitians always know what to do at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? 
Are you in the streets? He said, are we in the streets? You know what I'm saying? We just, we just getting money. That's all I'm going to say. I'm mm. saying. Now, are both parents in your life? You mentioned your mother. But are both parents in your life? Oh, no. My pops died when I was just only like four years old. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to hear that. It's all good. What did he pass away from? Shit, honestly, we don't know, you know what I'm saying? We Asian. <laughs> I don't fucking know, you know what I'm saying? Sound crazy. I don't know how he died. So, some Haitian shit. Oh, I got two, both my parents with me. You know what I mean? I grew up with both of them, moms, pops. Two parent households still living together? Yeah, they still at the crib just chilling, kicking it and shit. Never separated or had a divorce? Nah, they fuck, they, you know, they fuck with each other hard. So it's straight. <laughs> Which is something you don't see these days. You don't see two people together that long, even if at all. So uh, what do you think their secret is on staying together? <laughs> if you even know, I don't know. Man, I, I wouldn't even know, you feel me? I wouldn't even know. They just probably got so much love for each other to the point where it's like, they can't even be broke. <laughs> fuck it. That's dope though, you know what I'm saying? But I, I fuck with that shit though, you know what I'm saying? You not, ha okay. You not having a father and him passing at four years old, did you have another male figure in your life? No, nah, we just had to grow up and learn for ourselves, you know what I'm saying? You just grow up to be a man for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, we just grow up with all my brothers, we just raise each other, you know what I'm saying? We just, well, what you see is what you get, you know what I'm saying? It's just, we became our own man, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like you've been through some things. <laughs> In regards to your parents, what's the worst thing you put them through? Shit, we put I put my mom through a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll be I'll the bad one. I'll be I'll be out for like all night with, with my friends and them. Shit, I would I'll be doing some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Probably shit. Hit I'll hit licks a couple times, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know man. I was <laughs> I was just always on some shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was just always awesome shit. Mm. But it's straight. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's all good now. What about as far as siblings? Siblings. Are you the only child? Hell no. Nah. I got four brothers, one sister. You know what I'm saying? We, we a bunch. Damn, gang. Shit, I got about three sisters, one brother. Where do you fit on the ladder? Towards the oldest? Towards the youngest? In the middle? Shit, sure, I'm in the middle. I'm about in the middle too, same shit. Anyone else in your family raps inside yourself or does beats? Well, I know some of my cousins, you know, they rap and shit, but you feel me? You know, they doing their thing, you feel me? I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? We show each other love once, you know, the time comes, but you feel me? Have you had a chance to collab with any of them? Oh, no, nah, not really. <laughs> nah, not really, to be real. Is it a competitive thing with you and your cousins, or is it a... Honestly... Is it a not, they not taking it as serious as you type of thing, or what? I mean, yeah, I don't, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to, you know, down them like that, you feel me, but they probably not. I just know we, you know, we, we, we hungry, killing shit. Hungry, 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 <laughs> we hungry. But hungry we hungry. Hungry hippos. We, we, we killing shit right now, they ain't gonna cap. <laughs> what does your family think about your rap career? Or your producer, <laughs> man. They they doubt me every day. <laughs> you think like you think I'll have people that will, my people will, like motivate me? You know what I'm saying? Like some others got that shit. My people ain't like that. It's over. <laughs> doubt me every day. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I don't even. You feel me? I don't let that shit get in my head because you know a nigga's strong mentally. So you know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> shit, easy. We make mm -hmm. these. Have they heard it? Have they had a chance to hear your music? Oh yeah, definitely. They seen videos and all. You know what I'm saying? Mom's in that bitch talking shit like always. <laughs> well, I mean, my mom talk shit, but she she fuck with our shit heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like surprisingly, <laughs> my mom actually fuck with, it, but she still talk shit about me not in school. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw Haitians care about go you being in school. At the end of the day, what do your parents think about the actual music? What's their opinion on? Well, their opinion, they just, they be, they just say shit like they don't have no meaning or anything like that. But it's like, I could put play a little Tupac song or some shit. They wouldn't even know what it meant. 
You feel that me? That shit crazy. They wouldn't know shit. <laughs> That's why I'm like, man, these niggas talk. It's like, I just laugh, man. Because it's funny. <laughs> what do they think about the the cussing? Oh, they hate that. Yeah, every, every parent will hate that shit, but shit, they, love, they love how creative we are. They like seeing how creative we are at the end of the day. Have they had a chance to see you perform yet? I mean, nah, you know what I'm saying? They ain't see that. Now, we spoke about a variety of subjects. Um, in regards to just thinking about uh, your youth and, you know, the youth that's out there, what is your message to the youth that's out there? Overall speaking, what's some general words of advice you would say to the youth? What's your message to them? Well, my message to all the youth, really, if you got a dream, chase it. Do you, don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying, what the next nigga doing or, know. you know, what they doing or, you know, don't get caught up. That's all I'm saying, you feel me? Don't get caught up into hype. You know, you do you, make sure your shit's straight, and then bam, one day you're going to be straight as fuck and you ain't going to even know it. Yeah, all the, like, niggas, all the niggas that's down you, they're going to all be on your dick, you know what I'm saying? Just chase your dreams, grind. Niggas down you, hoes down you, shit, all of them. Because niggas ain't going to believe you, believe in you anyway, so you just show yourself. You ain't showing them, you showing yourself what you know you could become. So that's all it is, grind, don't listen to none and that's, of them. that's for anything, you feel me? It's not only for music. It's for anything. Any school, school you if think, you, even bro. if you in school, if you ain't in school, you know what I'm saying? Take that shit right there. You'll go far, you know what I'm saying? 